changing the world one yard at a time. Okay, yard fanatics, look, this is the image um, herbicide that I was talking about. Like I said, when you buy this bottle, make sure it has Poana down there. You, you'll see it right there, and they have a picture of it. There's another bottle out there that has a different formula, <coughs> if I'm not mistaken. But if, even if it's the same formula, make sure you get the one that says this right here, all right? And basically, this bottle covers 8,000 square feet. If you buy the bottle that's not a hose-in sprayer, it's going to cover 6,000 square feet. All right, both of them are the same price, but um, prices vary by each store. I'm going to show you how to apply this, and it kills a whole bunch of other weeds. Um, it kills um, actually wild fescue, uh, wild onion, um, wild garlic, henbit, uh, chickweed, and, and annual bluegrass uh, poa. Remember, poa is a winter weed. It germinates during the... Um, late stages of fall, early spring, and it's called annual because it's supposed to die. There are some varieties that are um, uh, perennial, but it, hopefully you have the annual um, variety. But basically, what you do, same way I showed you last time, pull that tab back, make sure the water's on, turn that, and like I said, when the water comes out here, it's a straw that goes all the way down to the bottom. It siphons off some of the chemicals and as you walk you'll see it generally I try to walk backwards when I'm spraying this stuff so I don't walk across it but you know do it whatever makes you comfortable sometimes you walk backwards you may trip so do it however makes you feel comfortable but you when you spray this spray it evenly do not focus a ton of it on one spot like you would do um, a weed and feed or <coughs> any other herbicide selective herbicide killer be gentle with this stuff because it is strong, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna do a little spraying. I'm not gonna spray the whole 8,000 feet, but I wanna give you a general idea of how I spray. Okay, guys, and make sure it's not too windy. No more than 10 miles per hour wind. If you do spray it in the wind, I mean, if you do spray it while it's windy, Make sure the wind is against your back, not blowing into you. And BYD Junior, you can zoom in if you have to, so they won't be stretching the eyeballs to see me. Hey guys, as you can see, keep an eye on your chemical as it's coming out. And uh, you wanna make sure that you balance it. Like I said, this bottle should do 8,000 square feet. And <clears throat> I'm getting close to it. I think I sprayed roughly about 8,000, but I'd spray half the bottle on eight and I'm gonna go back over it and do the rest. And as you can focus down at BYD Junior, Zoom in, go down there, actually go down there. You can see I got a lot of um, bluegrass down here. A lot of bluegrass. Like I said, my um, timing was a little off or it put my preem down. I didn't actually didn't put it down to, for, to prevent this. So this is, this is what happens. And keep in mind those seeds they actually last for years in your soil. The plant grass itself will die off when the temperatures rise, but those seeds, they don't go, they don't go anywhere. If you want to come back later, and put a pre-emergent down. That'll be fine. I'll talk about that in just a minute.
Hey, Yard Fanatics. Look, these are the items that you're going to need um, to get this iguana under control, all right? Now, listen to what I'm about to tell you. What you got right here is prodiamine. It's prodiamine uh, wettable dissolvable granule, WDG65. That's what we got right here, some, some blue dye, lawn dye. We got a real surfactant, not dishwashing liquid. And this is that's the prodiamine in the cup, so you can see what it looks like. Another little small measuring cup. And our image control. Like I said, this image controls a whole bunch of stuff, man. A whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to read it all off to you. But I will tell you one thing. That this is not for every lawn. Let me tell you what it's for. It's for Bermuda lawn, buffalo grass, centipede grass, St. Augustine, zoysia, and selected landscape ornamentals and ground covers. All the rest of the information is in here. Do not apply this to fescue. You will kill it. Do you guys understand that? Do not apply this formula to fescue lawns. You will kill it. I always stress, read your instructions before you install. Now, having said that, you notice I got gloves on also. Also, I, don't, I hope I'm showing myself I got on my eye protection. But, do not handle this dye without gloves. You'll see some guys on it. Look at that already. It's on there. This stuff, yeah, it's non-toxic. It washes off. But you have to wash your hands five, six, seven, eight times to get that stuff completely off. So always have some type of latex gloves on that's kind of waterproof while you're using that particular that dye right there. All right, I'm going to get this to BYD Jr. And I'm going to show you the mix that I use. Remember, treat your entire yard with a pre-emergent. But you, the, the, the bluegrass, if it's spring right now, it's already, it's, it's up. It's, it's out. You you see it. That's why we put the uh, image down there to kill it off. The way you control it is you have to put a pre-emergent down every freaking year. That blue grass seeds, they last for years in the soil, okay? So you have to start, I would say, um, June, July, August, late summer, summer or early winter to prevent the seeds from uh, coming the next season, which will be spring. If you missed that late summer fall application, which I missed my fall application, I actually, not my fall, my um, um, winter application, I missed that one and you saw what happened, okay? But depending on the strength you put it down, this is the, this is the way that you control it. Can you get rid of it forever? Um, probably not. It's, it, eventually, it's, it'll come back here and there, but we want to put max control on it by killing it off now and preventing it later, okay? It's just an ongoing process with this bluegrass. BYD Jr., go ahead and record. <clears throat> and look, guys. All right. What we got here is... We got one gallon of water all right one gallon of water right here I'm only adding uh, 0.25 WDG wettable dissolvable granule 65 per diamine into it also so we're gonna add that all right on the back of this zoom in I don't know if they can see it BYD but it basically tells you how much you need to add you can add half an ounce per gallon the more of the stuff you add the deeper the blue so i'm gonna actually go one ounce just so it'll show up real good for the camera all right i'm being real careful with this i'm not going to use this one because i like it this is one of those little cough syrup cups that comes with um, um like when your kids get sick it comes with that and it says one ounce is not actually on here. So what? I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to do it. You know what? I'm gonna eyeball this, but we add one ounce. Half an ounce to one ounce. Please put the lid back on this 
when you get through with it. You do not want this stuff to get on your hands. It is messy. Look at it. It's messy. It's already on my gloves. All right, so we've added that, the dye. We added the prodiamine. Now we're gonna add the real surfactant. I went with the real surfactant versus the um, shampoo and, and dish detergent because I actually bought it. That dish detergent and shampoo, you can still use it, but ma people mainly use that because they don't buy the real one, all right? So here it is on the back, herbicide application, which is for like two 4D products, one to two tablespoons per gallon. We're going two tablespoons, y'all. Two tablespoons. See it right there? See that, two tablespoons? All right, we're gonna add that. more all right we got two tablespoons we're adding that put the top back on your surfactant because you did spend your money on it you don't want to waste it last but not least since we're putting this in a spot sprayer they want us to go 2.5 ounces per gallon of water All right, on here, where is it ounce at? See the ounce is BYD? We got one ounce, excuse me, a half an ounce, one ounce, two ounce. So we'll pour it two. All right, then we're gonna add a half an ounce. That has put us at 2.5 ounces per gallon. All right, put the lid back on that. Remember guys, instructions are always on the back. Never rip this off. Leave it on the bottle so you can always find it. All right, we're gonna put our top on. Some guys you'll see sticking a stick down in there, stirring it up. That's nonsense. Tighten it up, pick it up. Agitate it. Now that blue dye, it will eventually fade away once you keep using it with other stuff. But if you're constantly using that blue dye, then it'll be a harder fade, harder time getting it out of there. But it does leave that. So we shook that up. We're gonna add some pressure to it. guys I'm gonna put this thing on fan tilt mode and we're gonna go spot spray some weeds okay guys if you look down here we got this uh, annual bluegrass and let me tell you a little something about it real quick Let's see if you can get close to it and zoom in on it without going too far all right one thing you need to know about this it grows kind of flat it spreads outwards. You get a, you get hundreds of seeds on these things right here. This is a winter weed. One way it spreads is when it rains real hard, these seeds, they fall off. They go down in the soil. If you got a waterway and it washes it through a path, that's, that's another way it spreads. Other way it spreads is when guys take their weed eaters and they weed eat these things because they're trying to get those little white seed heads off. To blend in with the grass you shoot seeds everywhere another way is when you run your lawnmower wheel across it and it's wet pull seeds up and you'll run them all across the yard the other way is when you step on it you take seeds everywhere <coughs> that's one of the main reasons you need to put down your prodiamine protection this is a clear example of what happens when you miss an application Weeds change their cycles from year to year. You may have a blue bluegrass issue, you may have a crabgrass issue one year, you may have a Dallas grass issue one year, you may have a henbit um, uh, situation one year, you may have a dandelion situation one year. So yes, 
you're gonna have to put down some type, some form of pre-emergent. But right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spot treat these weeds. I already sprayed the weed with the, um, excuse me, sprayed half the lawn with the um, control with the hose end sprayer. So we're gonna go ahead and spot treat some of the bigger patches to try to get these things to die off. Now remember this, normally when summer comes and the temperatures go up, they start to die off anyway. But when they do die off, a lot of times you'll have patches in your lawn. So if you're cutting your Bermuda at one inch, you're making your Bermuda grow sideways. If you're letting it go every two, three weeks, it's more or less growing upwards and you don't have side runners really pushing out. So the lower you can keep it at one inch, you'll get it to fill in these spots once they go bare. Bad thing about cutting that one inch with bluegrass is that you, you cut the seed heads off and you spread them. You know, that's always an issue. You spread those seed heads all over the yard. But, you know, over time, summer go, the temperature comes up, they'll start to fade away. Another bad thing is if it's raining a lot, these roots are shallow. They don't go deep like Bermuda roots can go. So that water is another thing that keeps them keep it alive if you can not water your lawn as often you can starve these out also and that's kind of what this does right here the the, the image control it kind of starves it off so let's go ahead and spot spray some weeds <laughs> hope you can get that on camera <laughs> all right so byd junior make sure you get it so they can see it all right you see that dye stuff come on oh that's a nice blue you see that that's nice. I like that color right there. So we're going to spray some of these patches where you kind of see it. If you get this on your concrete, all you got to do is kind of get a water hose and wash it off because it will fade away. Oh, I love that blue color, man. I love that. Now I got this on um, fan tip mode, but I got another mode on here, which is cone mode. Let's put it on cone mode and I'll show you how that, that works. All right, cone mode sprays down and kind of out just like a cone, and it's not as wide. So let's do that. See that? Oh, that's nice. <coughs> Guys, if you're putting this down in your customer yard, please tell them what this dye is, what the blue marks or green, whatever color you get, what it is, and that it's gonna fade away um, over time. Now, while you out spot spraying, you know, you can spray some of the other weeds, but right now we're focusing on this bluegrass because that's what this video is all about. Remember, spot spray like a pro is coming out soon. Um, I'm gonna go back to fan tip mode. It's coming out soon, so. Make sure you keep them notifications on. Oh, I love that. I love that. That nice blue. I'm kind of getting my edges because that's why I've had a problem with that bluegrass. Okay, BYD Jr., turn that thing around, let them see. Look at all those blue spots. You can zoom in on it if you want to. You guys see that? Remember, spot treat like a pro is coming out soon. And um, I'll explain, go into detail about that, but um, let's go on that side, stop.
Okay, guys, you see it. That's what the um, image, that's what the dye, that's what the surfactant. That's kind of sticking to it. Looks all nice and glossy. So, I'm gonna finish this up real quick and um, give you a little talk, so hold on. Hey guys, before we go, go away, I used to know this really old black guy who was into long care, actually got me started. Um, I think I was around about 10 years old, nine or 10 years old. And they used to have this stuff right here and back then, I don't forgot what he said, they call it moose grass or something like that, but it's annual bluegrass poem. Now, I was 10 then, I'm 40, I'm 40, dang, six, seven, I'm 47 right now, so that's 37 years ago. He said that they used to take hot boiling water, and this is hot boiling water. You can't see the steam coming off of it, but it is, and actually, pour it on the grass. Now, he said that this actually killed it off. Uh, it also killed the other grass <laughs> beside it. But they had tall fescue then. They didn't have uh, uh, Bermuda grass back then. Hey, look, y'all. I got some worms, too. One right there. One right there. And that's a good thing. Those worms, when, once I put down that um, the little night, I saw worms just everywhere. But I don't know if those worms just ran out the ground because I poured that hot water in there. But um, he said it kills the roots and essentially starves this off. Now, I don't know if it actually works, but you're a true yard fanatic. I had to let you know, you know, maybe they was putting it down when it was finna die off anyway and they thought they were killing it off. But something that old black guy told me. By the way, that old black guy, that was my dad. All right, you are fanatics. Just letting you see the uh, effects of that blue dye um, from a distance. You can uh, you can tell it. Right now is a good time to do it. Um, you see it? See it right there? All right, let's go check the back out real quick. And guys, just remember, like I said. The, uh, <coughs> I used a uh, blue dye. It's made for lawns, herbicides. Um, we used a real surfactant, not a dish detergent, not a baby shampoo. We actually ordered some. Um, there are different mixed rates for those herbicides. All this information can be found on the bottle. I will be putting the mix that I use today on here somewhere if, if I hadn't already put it on there um, and like I said this is one way to try to get rid of Poana and control it at the same time um, there's no surefire way to spray anything on your lawn and you never see it again um, weeds pick and choose when they want to come. Mother Nature always wins. But this video has been requested over and over. So I do expect to get at least uh, 3 million hits. <laughs> I know that's not gonna happen. But um, go back and just look at it a couple of times and guys, when we're making these videos and the guys are making it are asking for donations to the channel, we're not begging for money, but it takes a lot of time and effort and research to put this stuff together for you guys. A small donation would be much appreciated, five, 10, $15. You can do that on the beginning page, PayPal link. If you don't wanna donate, make sure you watch the commercials in their entirety. That's another way we get kind of paid. But I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. Like I said, I sprayed the entire yard. Um, 
people were wondering how to get rid of Poana. And the, the stuff that I gave you, this stuff that you can buy is pretty inexpensive. The, uh, the uh, image, about $20 a bottle. Yes, they have Celsius, they have Blindside, they have Revolver, but the most, the majority of people watching this video are not going to spend $100, $200, $300 on a bottle of chemicals to do their home lawn. All right, and even if you are a professional landscaper, here's another alternative for you. All right, so once again, thank you for watching Bermuda Grass Central.